and the next one maybe some of the most sought after possibly it's the phoenix mount firebird whatever you want to call it again trash here is fairly trash make sure you take out anything as you see you know which ones are out because they'll be casting generally holy light tends to be any magic user around the trash here is very trashy I'll show you how I to do the first boss and that's the only one you really need to do so I'll get that cleared and show you after Come in this room, you just want to wipe out all of this as quickly as you can, really. There's about five different areas or area type people you need to clear out. Two patrol in the bottom. And there's a few phoenix flying around. If you're having trouble with these guys or lazy and you're a hunter, you can actually just tame them. They are tameable. But you know too far away. Not exactly and you can have an easier time if these out before you start with a fire with the boss but again it won't really hurt you a lot And you can do this on any raid saying, of course, 10 men is going to be your easiest. Which I advise just for speed. But if you want to rerun it on the harder difficulties, you really can. Okay, so the boss basically has a few different things. Again, nothing really that scary. If you're a hunter, have your pet tank him up top, just for ease. You can really nuke him down quite quickly. But he does have a resurrect. Just try and fight him from the middle, keeps you nice and safe. die like that 
and then spawn these ads. Maybe I didn't quite kill him there, I'm not sure. But yeah, you get these little phoenixes. He'll come back to life, I don't have fly up, mess around, hit you miles, actually. That was unexpected. But yeah, just use it the best you can. Nuking's always very, very good. And that's it done. If you're lucky, which I'm probably not, you get your mount here. And that's it done. And that's the only boss you really have to fight because sometimes it'll ag as you run round. Where we are headed is this room and this is where our mount will be, right up top. You don't have to worry about these guys, but I'm gonna take them out and I'll see you after I've done that. Just because they're nothing really, nothing scary whatsoever. You don't even have to do them, but I like to. So I'll see you at the melt drop, hopefully. So all the trash and all the spare bosses are wiped out. And now we're on the main for the mount. This one can be problematic when you're a hunter. Because of Power. CC. My Kill mine, control ya, blah, 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 blah. But I tend to not have too much trouble with it. And now I've said that I'll probably die really, really quick. But basically it's going to be that guy. No, that guy, stop me now. that guy, or gal, and then that guy. Then you have to fight a load of weapons, then you have to fight them all, and then you have to fight him. And it's just a lot of CC and annoyingness, really. But basically, you should attack your pet, and being a hunter, he um, kind of removes my melee weapon. Which pretty much means I do no damage. Pretty much removes my wing you know, weapon, my range that. weapon. He removes my range weapon, so I just use fists. So I'm doing virtually no damage. I occasionally get a little bit worried about it. To be fair, see this is this is the issue. They all have a different CC they can cast on you. The Sindori reign supreme. But it's not terrible. You have proven worthy to test your skills against my master engineer, Telonicus. Another life. I need to mute these as quick as you can, really. Again, you shouldn't panic too much. Although, I have died, not going to lie, a few times. These are the legendary weapons that you cannot keep, which sucks. But, you know, oh well. You're only allowed to use them for this fight, which. Back in the day was awesome that you could. I'll show you on quick. Because I would love to keep that. That's an awesome looking bow. But no, not allowed. They're, they're all pretty awesome really. This is where he's going to res all of his guys and you've got to fight them all. Which is not really fair. But it's more just annoyance than anything else. You just need to bring them down. And that's 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 it. <laughs> Literally. It's not a difficult fight terribly. His can be an issue just because of the control and taking on your pet and I've had it bug out a few times where for no reason other than YOLO it's uh just stopped me stop the fight, reset the fight, and I've had to do it all again. Which I'm hoping doesn't happen. But you've got a massive gap. I'm assuming it's for gathering your weapons and so on. But just do whatever you want. You've got like 40 seconds. Perhaps I underestimated you. It would be unfair and this is where they all come at you, bro. All four advisors at once, but fair treatment was never shown to my people. I'm just returning the favor. I don't have a time. <laughs> Again, you best you can really. Stay away from them. Do what you can to kill them. You know, just anything. There is an order, but at this sort of level, it's 
not too much of an issue. And just try to bring him down as quick as you can. Damage isn't terrible. Or painful even. If you are a hunter, just try to keep that heal up whenever you get a chance. Get stunned and then normally after this. Yeah, there we go. But that was nice, he stunned me again. I'll start attacking my pet. Again, doesn't use the range weapon and oh no! Looks like it's glitched. What a s damn it. <laughs> Basically. So we gotta do it all again. YOLO. Energy. Oh well. Power. My people are addicted to it. It's probably something it's that I'm doing. After the Sunwell was destroyed. Maybe. I don't know. Welcome to the future. But we'll go again. A pity you're too late to stop it. No one can stop me now. Salama Hashalanore. I can't attack that. I can't attack that. Let part. us see how your nerves hold up against the Darkener, Thaladred. Prepare yourselves! Persevered against some of my best advisors, but none can withstand the might of the blood hammer. Behold, I can't attack that. I Lord can't attack Sanguinar. that. Car. I can't attack that. I can't attack blood that. For blood. But your stay here is a short one. If any of you guys happen to know a reason, feel free to the tell me. Sindora, I reign supreme. I don't well, have a target. Uh, Generally, don't have an issue with this. Just occasionally, which is sucky, but you know, what can you do? As you see, I have many weapons in my arsenal. Let's hope it goes better this time. Don't give my warning, so no idea how long this is going to take. Perhaps I underestimated you. It would be unfair to make you fight all four advisors at once, but... Fair treatment was never shown to my people. I'm just returning the favor. I need a target. Mm -hmm. and keep your pet up if you're doing it as a hunter if you're doing it solo it's not too much of an issue because you just get a bit of CC on yourself I don't believe it breaks a battle at all if it's on you pet should stay on him and you really shouldn't hurt a tank in there. Oh, 
this is the only time you can get sort of really hurt when you start having the ads come at you as well. But again, not a massive problem, especially when you're geared well enough. Pet should take him down. You bring actually nothing in this car. You want to grab these ads when you're soloing, anyway. Bring them down, then they'll spawn out in the egg. You want to screw the eggs because they will rebirth just like before. His true power is not that powerful. This fight seems to be mainly luck. <laughs> luck if you can't hold that one for you, near enough. Again, for our most adventuring pets, constantly on the mend. And hope it doesn't glitch out yet again, because that would suck. Shouldn't do. I never normally get it at this point. Yeah, bye. Keep up all the uh, pull down, burst, and whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do, fight. He's going to shoot you up like this. You can just float back down. Well, the last. You control it by pressing your. Um, for me, it's X. Which is sit. Spacebar will send you up. Obviously, you want to be lower when the actual thing wears off because it will hurt. I need to get closer. And we got what? I think it's this one. Gravity. There you go. And. Nope. <laughs> Again, nope for me. You get this quest item. Turn it in for quite a bit. Again, it's not anything to shout home about. But yeah, that is how you get the Phoenix Mount. I hope you guys get it because I, again, never have. That's a very interesting cape. I might keep that. Oh, no, it's not a cape. It's cloth head. Cloth head. That's what I am, a cloth head. Oh, well. Thank you for watching, you guys. You are all amazing. Love your faces. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff you do. And good luck, because I have none. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I'll see you next time.